Okay, so um, a couple of weeks ago a client asked me about diastasis recti um, and what that really is is separation of the linea alba. So if you picture someone with a six-pack, that line down your midsection is the linea alba and it can separate. Um, and there are some good exercises, although they're very gentle, to help you reconnect that um, tissue. Um, because truthfully, your abs are attached to it on either side. So doing a lot of ab work can sometimes exacerbate the problem. You want to be very cautious with what you do. So um, a lot of what we do in Pilates is very good to help you improve um, and get that connective tissue to start to move back towards your midsection. So the first thing we're going to do is you're always going to lie with your um, feet on the floor, knees bent, and a neutral pelvis. We never want to tuck the tailbone. Part of that tuck is going to exacerbate the problem. So you always want to hold neutral. That's when you have a slight arch in your low back. You're going to take your hands and place them on your pelvis. Fingers pointing to your pubic bone. Palms are on your hip bones. All right, and from here, without rocking back and forth, so we're not going to move the bones. The bones are going to stay still. You're just going to inhale, exhale, draw your lower abs away from your hands. Inhale, let the belly breathe and expand if it does. Exhale, draw your abs again away from your hands. So all that's happening, it's probably hard to see, is that under my hands, my stomach is floating up and down. But I'm intentionally, I'm just not letting the breath do that, I'm intentionally drawing it down. The next exercise you're going to do are basically pelvic floor or Kegel exercises. So if you can't find your Kegels, if you, use, if you go to the bathroom and you stop midstream, that's your Kegel muscle, you want to think, still lying in the same position, of pulling your Kegel muscles up and in. And when you do that, you should feel that same um, sensation through the front of your abs, just a gentle tautness coming through the front of your belly. Okay? Um, if you've had a C-section and this is post-pregnancy, which is typically what causes the separation, you might find that harder to feel. You have some scar tissue in there. But play with it. All right? So you're going to be pulling up on the Kegels, and you'll feel the front tautness in your abs. Both of those happen at the same time now. Okay? So you've got both of those exercises. You can worry about just the abs. You can worry about just the Kegels. But remember, when you engage them, you'll all, you should also feel that in the front of your abs without consciously thinking about the abs engaging. And the next thing we're going to build to is doing a basic ab prep. Now, this is different than a crunch. Okay, because in a crunch, I'm curling up and I'm tucking my tailbone. Again, you can see that my stomach bulges here. That's going to exacerbate the problem. When we do ab prep in Pilates, we hold neutral and we curl our head and shoulders off the ground, okay, with or without supporting our head. So it would be this exercise, but because we're still using the ab muscles and you need to be cautious with your ab muscles right now, you're either going to take your hands and as you curl up, you're going to pull your abs in. Now, you're not squishing yourself in, but gently guide them in that direction. Inhale, lengthen down, and your hands can just come away from you. Exhale, nod the chin. Sorry, inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, curl up and slide your hands towards each other to make sure that nothing's pulling away, everything's going towards your midline. Inhale, exhale, lower. So the hands are a great option especially if you're in some kind of class, although you want doctor's permission if you're in a class. You can also take a scarf, keep it low, you should feel this through the front of your abs. When you do this, nod the chin, curl up and pull the scarf in, almost like you're wrapping it around you, and then lengthen back down, okay? Inhale, exhale, pull that scarf. Feel nice pressure, like you're, you're snug, but you're not cutting off circulation at your waist. Inhale, exhale, lengthen back down. So that's all you want to start with if you have this um, lost connection of your linea alba and the separation of the abdominal muscles. You don't want to start with big exercises. Uh, as I said in the blog, if you're going to go to an ab class and start doing big exercises, make sure you're always working in neutral and you're always supporting with your hands and your, or your scarf that you've brought to class so that every time you do anything with your abs, it's towards your midsection. Um, but be gentle with yourself. You're not going to heal that by forcing your body through some big motions. All right, good luck.